Hey, good evening, um, everyone. It is Jan or February 5th, uh, Saturday, about 6 o'clock right now. And I just wanted to make this quick little kind of debrief video. Um, as, you know, anyone who follows me knows, I recently purchased a uh, 1968 Cessna 150, uh, November 5026 tree. It's got about 800 hours on the engine, uh, 4,500 on the airframe. It was never a trainer. It's a great plane, uh, runs really well. I've been having a blast flying it. I've put uh, about 28 hours on it since I bought it in November. And I uh, just want to post this little, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it short. But uh, today I had my first encounter uh, with actual power loss in flight due to carb icing. Um, and I know these Continental O200 motors are well known for this and if you put it you know if you put car racing into google the first thing that's going to come up is a thousand reddit forums of people with 150s um but you know we talk about this stuff or we train for it um i just kind of want to share my firsthand experience of, of um what actually happened and you know hopefully somebody can kind of learn something or, or be better prepared um if it if it happens to you so the the simple version of it is I went out for a flight. So today, uh, humidity is about 50%. Uh, temperature at the time of my departure was, it was 62, 63 degree. I could go back and pull the METAR data, but it was low 60s. Um, calm winds pretty much everywhere. Uh, even the winds aloft were, you know, six to seven knots. Everything was kind of standard, um, standard rate of temperature going up into altitude. So I was heading from my home airfield, um, in Lincoln, California, which is right near Sacramento. And I was going to fly up to Truckee just for, you know, nice little trip out to Truckee and back. So, um, basically what happened was I, I departed and I went to an immediate climb up to 7,500 feet, um, which gets you, you know, 99% of the way, um, there you have to climb a little bit higher for, there's a pass to get through, um, 7,500 great cruising altitude. And uh, we have Highway 80, which runs the whole way. So you've got a nice bailout. And then about at the midpoint, there is a small airfield uh, called Blue Canyon. Uh, also a great place to bail out. It's up on a plateau. It's right next to the freeway. It's super easy to spot from the air. Um, so a safe route, really, you know, nice route when you're in an underpowered plane flying a mountain pass. So about 25, 30 minutes into the flight, uh, I was only maybe five or six minutes out of my climb set my power at 2550, um, which is about 65% power cruising about 84 knots, um, picking up a little, little bit of a headwind, but I was expecting that not a big deal. I had plenty of fuel on board and, um, you know, time wasn't really an issue. It was just up there enjoying myself. <clears throat> um, so, you know, flying through the mountains, um, your scan is typically a little more diligent, right? You're really on the instruments and, and this was no exception. Um, you know, it's very, very focused. But at some point during uh, during that, I'm I'm just enjoying the view outside, and the only way I can describe the feeling is that um, it felt like for a brief moment the plane started to fall out from underneath me. Um, I would equate it very similar to the feeling when you are about to start your approach in the pattern and you do that initial uh, pull of the power and you bring that initial power pull back um, and you hold it off to, uh, to slow the plane down. The plane wants to fall, but you're not letting it. Um, that's, that's kind of what I felt. I felt that plane fall. And, um, luckily I, I've talked a lot about this engine and this plane. I'm really well aware of the carburetor racing. So, um, I just snatched that carburetor heat knob. I, I mean, I, if I pulled it any harder, it would have come out of the panel. Um, but I, I held that yoke, held my altitude <laughs> and I uh, got that carburetor heat on. Then I glanced over at my my tack and saw the power climbing back up from about 2100 RPM. So I had a significant drop uh, in power and it it came out of nowhere. It, there was no kind of pre-stumble warning. It just, the power just started to fall off. Um, so I did another scan of everything, went through the pressure, temperature, you know, airspeed. I was holding altitude. There was nothing on my panel indicating that I was having any kind of catastrophic failure. So I go, okay, I built, I carb ice. I waited too long to apply any carb heat. I got carb ice. Set my watch, set my timer for one minute. I said, okay, I'm going to give it a minute. 
and uh, everything was running smoothly. The power came back up to about 2,400, um, which is where I expect it to be with the carb heat in. And then uh, when I pushed it back in, almost immediately it stumbled back down. About three, 400 RPM started dropping. Um, so at that point, I just pulled the heat back on and um, executed a, a tight turn, 180 degree turn, um, and contacted Oakland Center. Uh, I was on flight following. I'm always on flight following. Please be on flight following. Um, I feel way more confident knowing that if something like this happens, I have someone to talk to immediately. So made the 180, um, you know, went through, I luckily I, I wear my kneeboard. I had my checklist there. So I had flipped my, my checklist over. So I had all my emergency procedures now facing up. Um, I knew I was over a highway, I had a place to land, you know, all that, the, uh, ready for my ABC checklist in case I lose the engine. So I left the carb heat on, on the way back, um, for about three to four minutes before I felt safe enough to, to put it back in again, fully expecting the engine to go away. Um, uh, and it didn't. It, it ran fine. So at that point, um, I knew, you know, what had happened. It, it was carburetor ice. The engine was fine. Uh, and the flight back to Lincoln was entirely uneventful. Um, I was very shaken. Uh, it, it just happens. It happens really fast is, is all I can say. So, you know, um, if it happens to you, it's not going to be gradual. You're, you're probably not going to get a warning. It, it just, the power just starts to go away. Um, so, that's, I just wanted to share that experience and hopefully that's helpful to somebody. Um, I'll answer any question you leave in the comment. Uh, you know, anybody has any question at all, um, about, you know, the configuration or what I was doing or, or anything, uh, leave it in the comment below and, um, I'll respond to anyone, everyone. Um, cause you know, I think stuff like this is really important for us to, uh, talk about because safety comes first and especially in a small single engine plane when, things go wrong they can they can turn catastrophic really fast so um yeah i hope this was helpful uh thank you guys for uh watching this